You go North Fonterston into attack. That's a vent kick inside 50. Mark's not taken on the ground. It's going to be a free kick. It's going to North Fonterston. And that's the evening. Burke delivers. High kick. Is it a good kick? It is. The first goal of the night for the Bombers goes to Zach Burt. He continues his great form this year. And uh, that's his three, sorry, uh, ball up on the far side of the ground, half forward flank. Here's Couch inside out, kick inside, 50. Chance, Barber Kite goes high over the back, picks it up, it'll be a goal. North Fonterston. And that's uh, an easy goal there for the Bombers. Jacobin. Second goal, Jack Event. Thanks, Maxi. It hard to see the numbers, as we've said. Two goals inside, defensive 50. Knocked away by Williams to Tyrrell, who's had a lot of it. Tyrrell kicks immediately inside, 50. As well, I got it. Yes, Rala Kelly Mansell kicked us. Now they need to convert on the scoreboard. Rala Kelly Mansell for goal. Is it going to sneak in? I think it has. It's a post. marginal one. No, the umpire says yes. Oh. It's a goal. That Definitely. was one millimetre inside, was it, Maxie? What did you think? That's a goal. Oh. The ball comes back to Blackberry. Here's another inside 50. Launceston. This one's going to be cut off, though. No, it's not. Here's Sonny Whiting. In front of the scoreboard. He goes left. He goes right. Snaps it over. Coming out and taking a great mark for Launceston is Sammy Rundle. Takes the mark right on the uh, edge of the goal square. He comes in, Sam Rundle, and he's kicked it. So Launceston, 2-1-13. Crown North, 2-2-14 at the 22-minute mark. You're listening to 103.7 FM here on City Park. Free kick to North Launceston. Delayed uh, advantage rule given to Cox Goodger. He looks up to Burt. Burt's got Tommy Bennett on. In fact, it's Bart McCulloch. He's got Bart McCulloch. At the uh, pack, and the big Bartholomew goes up and clunks it. Hey, the state team, Bart McCulloch, 30 metres out directly in front. And that is the third goal for North Launceston. 3-3-21, leading Launceston. About 40 metres out from the North Launceston goal. Here he goes again. Smart handball. Snap for goal. It's so uh, Mark, is it? Is it taken in? It is. It's McCulloch. Two in two minutes. Two in two minutes. For the big Bambi. Holds up really well in those conditions. This time last year it wasn't as great. Ball comes out to Walsh. He snaps it over the right boot. Mark Walsh. And he's kicked it. The state rep. He's good on both sides of the body. Can't quite take the mark. Hamble comes out of Brad Cox. Could you? He'll strike a tackle or two. Kicks inside 50 with that piercing left foot. Under it is McCulloch. He can't quite take the mark. Spills over the back. Chance for North Launceston. Picked up. Snap. Goal. Couch. Couch. Kicked seven last week. That's his first for tonight. Assist from McCulloch, Dave. Another uh, goal assist, Mark McCulloch. Savage. Chris Savage, the veteran. Kicks inside 50. And rising high there was Randall. Falls over the back to Whiting. Study Whiting for goal. Magnificent. Magnificent going. Brandishes his fist to the crowd. And that's a team lifter. I've seen one. And that's Launceston 4 4 28. North Launceston 6 5 41. Beautiful work there from the Sunny Whiting. Oh, well called Dave Moore. It comes down to Lonigan. Lonigan over to Shepherd. Here's Jake Nunn on run. He goes short. He's got Brendan Taylor. And Brendan Taylor takes the ball on his mark, tucked right in the corner. Oh, but he's on a very acute angle. He runs around. Dave Moore's backed him in. He's pumped the fist. Dave, <laughs> oh! Dave had, uh, had faith in him. He said he was a good kick. And he did not disappoint. After Shepherd, he's got Tyrrell in support by hand. Tyrrell inside 50 now towards Danilo and he's gone forward. He'll get on the bounce. He's too far out to score. He tries to break the tackle. He does from Harrison. Danilo for goal. Jack Danilo. Yes, you beauty. He got clear of Harrison and he's delivered from 48 metres on the left foot. Goal to Launceston. Scores a level. Oh, and it's on down there in front of us. Jay Fern's being told that his tackle was weak. And uh, they're into it. 103.7 FM and you're going to listen to Dave Moore. Whitford around the corner inside 50. Bennett can't take the mark. Spills to Williams. Speculative handball. Falls. Shot for goal there by Cox Goodjar. He's converted on the left boots. He doesn't miss those ones. He had a bit of space and time. Right, Paul, Cou uh, Paul Couch. Tom Couch is uh, right over the top of him. His uh, Ponting comes in board and finds his uh, teammate. He gives it off to Cox Goodjar from 40. Cox Goodjar for two in a row. He's a great player. Bradley Cox Goodjar. And uh, an excellent work there by Tom Couch. He's Blackberry on the left. Goes down the line, Mansell, Rudder Mansell. We've hardly seen him. This is uh, Jay Foon. This is what we'd like to see from North Launceston. Attack from behind, Bart McCulloch comes up. 
as do about four Launceston players. Here's uh, Tom Couch from the pocket. Don't tell me, Tom Couch. That is an inside, outside, check side, whatever you want to call it. After a twenty to Walsh, who's tackled, he gets a kick away just in time. Mama Cullick goes high. A homer. He runs the pack. Left foot into the square to Zach Burt. He'll stroll in and kick another one for the Bombers. Great work there. Homer to Burt. And that's the 10th goal tonight for the North Launceston. Well, in there. Mantle, thanks, is uh, Pofferman's tackled from behind. Holding the ball once again. That's a second holding the ball in Fidget on Pofferman. Oh, oh, it's play on for some reason. No, 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 I know no. why. Ryan the, um, the umpire called Pitt. play on advantage Pitt and Pitt Pitt didn't take the advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Polfiman ends, ends up with it anyway. Up forward, over the back, chance, Whiting, handball, Rundle, goal for Launceston. Oh. And uh, that gives him a bit of a glimmer of hope leading into the last quarter. Repel the attack, the ball comes over the top to Burt. He's got Bart McCulloch all on his own. He gets the drop of the ball, he can go over the top to Holmer. He does so, and Louis Homer strolls in. North Launceston put a little nail in the coffin. Turnover, Walsh, Whitford, barrel inside 50 to the advantage of McCulloch, who takes it. Great mark. Vanderbilt and uh, McCulloch in the goal, goal, straight in front. And uh, Bart McCulloch has sealed the deal now for North Launceston here at Utah Stadium. Another goal to Bart. But, uh, yeah, look, he's going to be a good player in the future for the Lonnie Footy Club. And the long blue sleeves up here looking for none who rises high and takes the mark over the back. Jake Nunn, he's too far out to score. He's right against the boundary, 70 metres out from goal. Obliterated that day. And uh, Jake Smith gets a handball from uh, Rundle off the uh, free kick. But it's going to be marked, not quite by uh, Holmer. And taking the ball out of Holmer's hands is the coach, Sam Lonigan, And he snaps it from the, uh, the goal line. Probably held without it. Here's Lonigan. Too high, the umpire right. said. Dave saw that one, I didn't, but Dave did. Assistant, 8, 10, 58. Lonigan comes in straight over the goal umpire's hat. And Sam Lonigan picks his second for the quarter. He's to Taylor, he's tackled in effectual handball. Headland's there. It's Harrison's tackle, holding the ball, I reckon. But that's the end of the contest here at University of Tasmania Stadium. A brave effort by the Blues, but in the end, that was the Northern Bombers coming out on top. 12-13-85, defeating Launceston, 9-10-64.